Away they race in the Algonquin, back to last Lodge Hill and going to the front quickly in the centre is Rock to Fame, shot out in the lead to second, Rhapsody on the inside and away sharply, Sugar Tree, Golden Canary on the outer and split strikes going through nicely into fourth. On the rails is Pippet, Lodge Hill back second last and to the tail of the field is Dancing Duchess and racing out in front on the outside is Rock to Fame, narrowly, Rhapsody the inside, right behind them, a length away split strike and tucked away is Pippet over on the outside goes Sophia Vivas on Sugar Treat, they got away by two to Golden Canary well back at this point. Dancing Duchess trying to build a run. Lodge Hill the inside. They come inside the quarter and out in front. Rock to fame by a length. Rhapsody in second. And down the centre coming is Split Strike burning forward now. And Split Strike ranges up to Rock to fame from the back. Dancing Duchess with a whirlwind finish late. Up the inside Rhapsody. Split Strike. Rock to fame and then Rhapsody. And now Golden Canary and Dancing Duchess and Pippet. Here comes Dancing Duchess. What a run from the back. Gets up to win. Golden Canary in a photo with Pivot for second and third. The others got swamped, including Split Strike, Rock to Fame, Rhapsody. And the time is 58.38. Walker Winner's Circle and with Javier Castellano, back-to-back -back success, and now a stakes winner today for the Mark Cassie Barn, owned by Tracy Farmer, bred by Mitch Kurt. Dancing Duchess takes this year's Algonquin. Mark Cassie, the conditioner, Javier Castellano doing the riding, and Catherine Sullivan, the AT, here with us to talk about this pretty amazing trip from this filly here today. I mean, she was at the back of the bus. She was. She was last for a long time, but what an amazing closing kick and what a great ride from Javier. Wow. I, I was not sure she was going to get there, but I think he was more confident than I was. I think you kind of say, I'm not sure if she's going to get there. Then I looked out at my program and I remembered I had Javier Castellano riding. Right. Yeah, that does give you a lot of confidence. Yeah, and he rode a great race for sure. You know, she showed us a new trick here today, coming from off the pace to win. That last trip for her in the Natalma was so troubled. We really kind of thought her running style was to be forwardly placed, but obviously not. Yeah, it shows another dimension to her, which is wonderful. She's been such a great filly, and we just hope for great things in the future. Well, congratulations, a stake win, and we'll get you out of the rain as well. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> Already a nice win here for Dancing Duchess Javier Castellano and Mark Cassie teaming up to take this year's Algonquin.